Ready in Chamesh. Alba, Shalosh, Stein. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Where my mom's wearing thongs, hitting bongs at? Raising kids, cleaning shits, need a long nap. Where my mom's, where my mom's, where my mom's at? Yeah. Where my mom's yeah. at? First of all, come see me in Washington, D.C. in July, July 15th and 16th, and then July 29th, Man Friend Disco, California, and then I do, so I do two nights in San Francisco, and then Seattle, one night only at the Neptune, tickets are almost gone for that one, Cleveland, Ohio in August, Minneapolis, Tits, um, Nashville, and the list goes on and on, ChristinaPOnline.com for tickets see my special mom jeans out on netflix now if you have not already what a revelation with me today <laughs> is my probably oldest dearest friend in the entire universe jenny pantland everybody author mother creator mystic great tits uh amazing boobs thank you and you've nursed five children off of those and they're yeah. so good thank you what's your secret um, I think if you just keep getting fatter, it fills up the like <laughs> the loose skin. You know, yeah. you get the loose skin, and then yeah. Plus, I'm nursing now, and he's kind of weaning himself, so they're probably extra. He's weaning himself. He lets yeah. you know, like, I don't want the tits. They all um, did that, yeah. Jane Mansfield said, "You have to choose between your face and your body when you get old." Well, meaning it's obvious fat. which one I have. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have to be my face? I feel like I've chosen between other people's faces and mine and my body. Oh, you've got a great face. Very angular, uh, pretty. Thanks. So um, Jenny came over to my house this last weekend. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, Jenny, pull your mic closer to your mouth, please. I didn't realize Get that I would those be getting... big DSLs on there. Ugh. She does. She's got five kids, y'all. <laughs> she sucks and stuff. I wish I sucked dick. I'd have two kids. That's true. I'm just kidding. That's, That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wish I had fewer children. Do you think wives? <laughs> well, because number five was a was an oopsie. Yeah, this is um, number one, three, four, and five were one, th oopsies. Wait, hold on. one, three, four, and five. So yeah. the deliberate was only number two. Yeah, I was like, oh, it's been four years. Let's have another baby. I went off the pill and I got pregnant. Like I think two weeks. It's it wild. Thirteen days. Yeah, I have issues i have fertility issues i would say fertility blessings my goodness you could call it whatever you feel like calling it do you have like hyper ovulation things or? i think it's just the like jewish genes trying to repopulate yeah. the planet with stolen jews murder jews yeah i think it's just like built into my <laughs> the dove likes your theory <laughs> it's true though love it. yeah because you're supposed yeah. to do that so like you know Shabbat, god Shabbat. gives you the body that you're yeah. whatever that fake saying that I just made up is. Yeah, I agree with you. Have you seen um, season two of Russian Doll? Yes, yeah. I loved it, yeah. I loved it too. Yeah. I felt you and I, we both have severe mommy issues and yes. stuff. And yeah, it really spoke to me, especially, um, I'm not a Jew, but I feel I'm an honorary you are. in my heart, yeah. Yes. Um, but I loved that. Um, would you choose your mother again if you uh, yeah. were given the opportunity, the chance? I absolutely oh, I would, wept. yeah. Yeah, I did. You too. would? Yeah, I would. Of course I would. Because I learned my lesson from that show. Like, what happens if you don't? Do I want 10 of me running around and f fucking shit up? No. <laughs> no, I do not. No, I, I think you get to a point when you're older, too, where you're just like, OK, that all made me who I was, as they say. But am I so great? You know, that's another thing, is it? No. Is that yeah. our narcissism where we go? Because I, I always think about that, like, everybody asks, did you have regrets? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I, I should have had more sex with uh, other dudes before I got married, <laughs> but the AIDS epidemic terrified me. Like, yeah, that was a scary one. Yeah, that's probably like my only real regret. It's like, I should have just fucked a ton of, I should have fucked everything before I got yeah, married. Yeah, but like I did do that and it's not Yeah, that tell great. me about that. It's oh, not it's that not. great. No, Why? I just like, because I lost like 100 pounds and I went nuts and I was like, woo. And uh, then, yeah. yeah, and then I was like, wow, this sucks. Like, this is stupid. And just, it, you're not going to get what you're looking for. It, it, I don't know that it's out there. For I, mean, I just want to bang every, the rainbow. Like, Well, you could just each. have like one of those porn gang bangs where everybody comes yeah, out. Yeah, you have yeah. like 75 in a row and you're done. <laughs> just get it all out of the way in one fucking night. Say sorry. 
move on. (laughs) How unpleasurable. But but that's what I'm saying. It basically, it's like. Is it like that? Well, it's like a game. When you and Tommy first got together, didn't it take like a little bit of time for you guys to kind of like find your groove? So can you imagine never finding that groove with like a lot of different people? No, that's why I was not. That's also another reason besides AIDS. And I was terrified of AIDS. Um, the whole like one night stand paradigm is, is terrible because yeah. you're you don't know the person. It's awkward. You're obviously you may not. You probably won't have an orgasm with a person that you're banging the first time. Yeah. I'm assuming. I don't know. Like, yeah, you have to learn. So so but what you're saying is I should have allotted like a month per dude. Yeah, that's probably you know what I mean. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I feel like I had that kind of time or but you can still do those. You can just move that consciousness into your marriage with. Yeah, Yeah, I did that. Boring. It is. I mean, it's sex is boring. Like I I remember one time I was like, you know, like 20 and I was like, I'm going to go out. And my mom's like, goats can fuck like anybody can fuck like anybody can do it. It's not that cool. And I was like, oh, well, I had this I had this great boss one time tell me because he was with the same woman for like a million years, 20 years, which is when I'm with Tommy now almost. And he's like, Christina, sex is in the mind. And I was like, whoa, like you you blew my mind right there, bro. Like it kind of is. He's literally never made anybody come before. That's the <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> like Thanks that's what women input, tell me sir. over and yeah. over again. <laughs> They're like, sex is in the mind. You, you mean it's in work. your mind because yeah. nobody else is getting it. Yeah, getting he's got a small you. peener yet. <laughs> um <laughs> They're like, it's okay, sweetie. We're having a mental connection <laughs> yeah. right now. Possibly. Oh, my God. <laughs> but uh, no, I'm just kidding. I, uh, it's, yeah. It looks like, well, when you get older and you have children, too, I think sex shouldn't be the priority. Like, if it's your number one, yeah, something's wrong with yeah, you. Yeah, I agree like, with that. <laughs> you should mature past I agree. That. I agree with that very much, yeah. I think that's true. <laughs> so, could you imagine if my my priority with a three and a six year old is like, yeah. I gotta get laid. Of like 20 year old. A lot. Like, yeah. like, what? Uh, yeah, I know what people. I've met people like that. I know somebody like that. And I'm just like, good Lord. Are they a sex addict? I'm, I'm wondering. Is it my dad? Like, I don't know. <laughs> is, oh, your dad. Is, yeah. yeah. You guys are horny. Yeah. <laughs> Crayshaw, shout out. <laughs> Crayshaw won't come on my show on Zoom. I was like, bitch, come on Zoom. She's like, I don't do that. Who doesn't do I was Zoom? Texting with her yesterday. I, she's like, I want to come on your show. You know how she is? She's she's a rapper, so she's yeah. very cool. She's like, bitch, I want to come on your show. And I was like, yeah, dude, come on. I'll fucking Zoom you. She's like, I don't Zoom. And, and she like, must have seen your office and been or your set here and been like, I I want in there. I need I in know. there. I need. That's what I'm saying. To touch it all. She's right. The Zoom stuff's rough. I did a Zoom podcast yesterday and I was like, this is fucking weird. It it is weird. Just because you're not in the same room and you're talking over each other and all that weird stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You need to feel somebody's energy. How's how's my energy feel? (laughs) (laughs) How's my energy? Oh, my God. Speaking of how's my energy. I was at Central Market, which is like the Whole Foods here. I think I accidentally went there once. Yeah, that's great. There's a playground. Like everything in Austin has a playground. Yeah. There's a bar and a playground. (laughs) Or fucking live music. It's cool, though. It's fun. Yeah. So you could take your kids anywhere. And it's so it's so geared for that. So I'm in fucking Central Market, bro. And uh, I'm like in the cheese aisle. And I see a cowgirl like she's got the hat and then like the short shorts. Yeah. Cowboy boots and then fucking hairy legs like my husband. Oh, yeah. Like, bro. And I was when I, and I, you know, I lived in San Francisco, so I'm cool. Yeah. I try to be cool, (laughs) but I was like, whoa. Like, I know, I know she felt me looking at her. I was like, fuck, I just saw that. It was wild. Everybody probably does that. She just doesn't care. I've walked around like that before. But you know, I went to Christina's house the other night and I put my (laughs) arms up over my head and she does do this face because she saw my armpit hair. And she's like, oh no, you're one of those. And I'm like, no, no, no. This is not a fucking statement. This is, I am lazy. My skin is sensitive. Oh, I just, statement. I don't have time for this. It's not a, it's not a statement. Well, it's to be fair, statement. you've been like this since uh, 13. So yeah, I get it. I mean, I get it. I get it. 
<laughs> when you say been like this, you've I'm been just like curious. This. You've been. What does that mean, really? Like, what are you? What are you trying to say? You're kind of the hairy armpit girl. Like that's your jam. I think I shaved back, or I didn't even need to shave back then. I didn't even. I like. I'm just not a hairy person. So you're not. I got other things to fucking worry about. You're not. I agree. Your yeah. priorities are five there's children. Some long hair, but there's very few of them. But I want the viewers to know I talk shit about hairy armpit girls in advertising because I do feel like first of all when they use these tokens yeah. in advertising they're not pro women yeah. they're pro making you shocked and feel like oh my god is she doing that so that you buy the product right like it's a sales it's, it's sales, sales maneuver yeah and anybody who's like oh finally they're representing women <laughs> I'm like do you not know how fucking rebranding works like even when the <laughs> the new pope and everybody was all She's up on hot. the pope She's super hot. She's still hot. I'd fucking stick I'd, my face in her arm. Yeah, there. me too. I'd, I'd nuzzle her. That chick's way hot too. I'm, She's hot. We gotta yeah, pick some know. real dogs. I mean, th these chicks. See, are, that's the thing. Like when somebody has makeup on, she's hot. She's too hot. But she that, doesn't yeah. have armpit hair. Yeah. But that is an armpit. Now, see, because she's like, my armpit hair yeah. is my personality, and you're like, congratulations. You, you that's stupid that fucking. That's the thing. Yeah. It's like this is my whole. That's my yeah. whole identity. <laughs> yeah, and like I didn't walk over and be like, no. hey, Christina. No, <laughs> I was just like casually scratching my head on your couch. Yeah, like if you lead with the armpit hair, it's it is an identity thing. Yeah, like I'm the girl. It's like shut the fuck up. Like, yeah, that's why the cow, the cowboy, the cowgirl. Yeah, at Central Market, I was kind of like, okay, you didn't lead with that. Wasn't the lead story. Yeah. The lead story was you were a cowgirl. The girl. shorts. It sounds yeah. like was the, yeah, and, and the, the cowboy boot. boots. Yeah. And I was kind of like, okay, that's what's up. Like I liked yeah. her whole vibe. And then I was turned off with the hair because it was really dark and thick. Yeah, that's a. I mean, it was it's a distracting. Lot. It was like Tom. She needs a bigger belt buckle. She obviously did not <laughs> fucking nail that. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't the lead. It wasn't the lead. Yeah, story. it's like you can tell when somebody's hat is their personality, and that's yeah. always been like, okay, congrats on your yeah, hat. Did you ever in the valley? Because we grew up in the San Fernando Valley. Did you ever see? Um, at Michael's Arts and Crafts in Tarzana. Oh, did I ever see Michael's <laughs> Arts and Crafts in Tarzana? But there was the purple lady who, like, she wore mm -hmm. all purple. And that was her identity. Like, I'm the purple that. lady. And it's yeah. like, wow, that's your whole thing, bro? Like, you just chose to go on that one gimmick? Well, and purple's the color thing. of sexual dysfunction. So that just seems like... Really? <laughs> yes. Well, then Prince, but Prince was... We were talking about Prince last night. My husband and I, like, he led with purple. Yeah, that's, he did. That's the color of dysfunction. But he could back it up with like, I don't know. Now that you say Prince and purple, I think it's the color of just sex maybe. Cause yeah. He's... Do you realize that Prince, like his entire catalog, he wrote like a hundred songs about fucking. Mm -hmm. And you're like, bro, you can't switch up the topics ever. Like it's just about. There's only like two subjects on earth though. I know. Yeah. It's like love and what revenge. Yeah. Or just bad. Bad. Yeah. Sex yeah. and bad. Those Sex are the two bad. things on her. That's only anybody wants to hear about. It's true. Um, but I ap love apropos our uh, discussion about the 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 advertisers using. Yeah. So did you see the swimsuit issue of Sports Illustrated, which is traditionally? Yeah, I did. And that woman is stunning. And like she's, she's so beautiful. hot. Yes. And I feel bad for her that she has to be the recipient of everybody's wrath about it. But oh, you I, didn't see my tweet. OK. Oh, I didn't. What'd you do? <laughs> what what did you do? I, I wrote, um, here's the deal. I'm always going to make fun of shit. Because here's why I don't like the the swimsuit issue. We're going to put a token thick girl up there. I wrote supermodel, yeah. more like supermodel. <laughs> <laughs> so you liked it. <sighs> I'm so uh -huh. proud of myself. I was so proud. I'm so pleased. I got a lot of engagement. I got like 500 new followers. And I like the emoji burger and taco. And I didn't. Dog Tom added that. One. Okay. That the the words are mine. And then I was you like, you guys make the, a good team. The emoji's a little harsh, Tom. I wasn't going to add that, but then he did, and I was like, okay, I agree. No, you need it. It's a good. Balance. No, I agree. She's stunning. She's beautiful. The question is, does Sports Illustrated really celebrate thick models? Is this really what they give a shit about, or is this just a marketing? gimmick um everything's a marketing gimmick i think everything's yeah. a marketing gimmick and what you really hate is being manipulated by advertisers yes. you don't hate this woman and her hot no fucking she's boss. stunning she's and i'm wondering like what what do your armpits look like <laughs> put your arm up a little higher what's under there <laughs> let me see some bush mom bush yeah because of that swimsuit i mean she the, the suit i'm not into it looks no. like an anchor you know do you understand how 
you that suit doesn't look good on anybody. No, bro. Like, like that's just a it's a it's gun a tough sling. <laughs> it looks like a gun sling. It's a jock strap. <laughs> it's hard to look good in that. So I would have chose. But then again, they can't put her in a bikini. That wouldn't look good either. I don't know everything else. I just the gun sling, just because I have a, a mom gut everybody too. Does. So yeah, well, well, I, you know me. Making, I'm old school. I like the healthy. But here's the thing: is this going to sell? You wonder. Okay, there's general. There's there are men who are really into this look, great. There's thank dudes, God, or yeah, I wouldn't have five kids, huh? <laughs> yeah, there are men who are like, she's rad, shut the fuck up, everybody. And then, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it sells. Uh, but then would they put an unhealthy girl on? Would they put a girl who's anorexic Well, clearly on? that know. woman is healthy. Like she's, she's good. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what her medical history is. I don't know if anybody needs to ask her about that for the cover of Sports Illustrated. But I, I like just keep in check that you hate advertisers and they hate being manipulated and hate. That's what I hate. Yeah. I hate like, fuck you. You don't give a fuck about thick bitches. You don't care about women, period, swimsuit. This is no. the jack, the jack off issue. This is like the one my husband had in the bathroom in like 20... Yeah. 10 or whatever when we were dating he's like yeah this is like the hottest chicks of the year or yeah whatever. it was before you could get porn on the internet yeah. and I was like yeah <laughs> and you didn't if your mom saw it you could be like what yeah that's just a magazine yeah that Pla was the yeah plausible, plausible deny, my ability really. porn of the 80s and 90s it's true yeah. that Victoria's Secret yeah the Macy's yeah. catalog like some people really are into that Macy's the underwear or, or Nordstrom there was one that was like all underwear yeah and it was like bad underwear yeah bad but just, like beige but what I it wear. was underwear yeah well yeah but like just you know the holding the boobs up was the yeah. agenda not getting laid and uh they're ugly but people jacked off to that I there mean when what do you do? What are you going to do? It's supply and demand, really. Like, yeah, if there's no well, supply, then. Well, that's why the, there's so much supply now that now Sports Illustrated is like, we got to find a way to sell pictures of babes in bikinis. That's true. Be it's it's got to be like a political. It's, it's clickbait. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. clickbait. So you got to guys can't J their guys can J their D's to a million things yeah. now for free. So, yeah. yeah. How do we sell? How do we sell a girl in a bathing suit? It's yeah, so now, innocent. Now they're like, let's just piss everybody off. Yeah. Well, like the Victoria's Secret Down Syndrome model is yeah. my favorite because you're like, really? <laughs> really? You're going to put in it. I didn't see her. I was, she oh, might be hot. Let Can me, I she's see hot. her? No, she's super pretty. But um, that that one is like, is she capable of making the decision to be a sex symbol? Because that's what a Victoria's Secret model is. So Yeah, I, that, Victoria's Secret is, oh, she's super cute. Yeah, no, she's gorgeous. It's, uh, you're, you're meant to be Jade too. That's the whole gig. So you're like, is this really fair to do to an and innocent essentially yeah. it's like putting a child in a you know lingerie well i, I mean like have that. you seen the other models they are children in lingerie too <laughs> That's yes so they're true. all like that there's not one hip on that fucking runway i'm like so true except for they did put uh a thick girl in there a few years ago they were ahead of the curve on the sports illustrated shit i think you mean ahead of the curb curve You're i said it on purpose it right. curb yeah i love how they call that curvy by the way it's hilarious that's what yeah. i look like uh, well, I was a plus size model for um, 24 hours. Did yeah. I tell you that story? Yeah. For uh, Ford models. Oh. And uh, I was a size 14 at the time. Not a size 14 right now, but I was. A, I think, yeah, I was. A, have I ever been a 14? Yeah, I was. Um, and I took the pictures and I did all this shit. And I absolutely went nuts afterwards and was like, I'm sorry. I take it all back. I can't do this. It was awful. Yeah, it's um, gross. But I looked at the pictures like, 10 years later and i'm like i was not plus size by any means <laughs> i was not large at that point i was actually dying at that point of malnutrition because i had had the like i just lost like i said when i lost all that weight but um i was just like oh i'm the i'm the curvy model when i saw the picture i'm like i looked but then they told me you look too you're too small to be this but you're too big and i'm and i'm too short and i think modeling is inherently just probably the worst horrible it's could you imagine i can't even do a selfie without feeling like puking and like and having so other much. people there with like uh. telling me to put shoes on i hate shoes and they were all like i, hate I don't shoes. I, I couldn't do it because of the Fucking shoes weirdo uh, shoes really do you like shoes what do you um like? no you're worried you got your tennis I, shoes kicked I, off under the table i know i don't like to take them i don't like shoes either um okay. but i think uh what? Why are you laughing at me, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> uh, I would take them off all the time when I record. I don't like to wear shoes when I record. Okay. Uh, but, uh, oh, modeling. I remember I, I saw like a documentary about supermodels. Not yeah. supermodels. Mm. <laughs> and um, 
Paulina Poroskova, who's probably yeah. one of the most gorgeous faces of all time. Like the, you start when you're 12, too. Yeah. So you're right. They yeah. dress you up like a, an adult. Yeah. It's just yeah. in a bathing suit. And her body is like 12. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, she's like, yeah, you go into an agency and they'll be like, they talk about you as if you're not there. They're like, yeah. okay, well, her her thighs are too fat. Her nose is too big. Her eyes are too far apart. She's yeah. like, I'm right here. Like, yeah. I'm, but there, you have to divorce yourself from yourself and be a product. It's yeah. very confusing. Which, I mean, there's a lot a of industries girl. like that probably. Well, but show business, yeah, comedy. that's what I was... Yeah. yeah. Acting, could you imagine? I think acting's even I even have a harder. really hard time, like, I can't do that. Like, I have a hard time, like, just not being myself, which is probably why I can't, like, have a normal job or, like, <laughs> get along with anybody. It's, it is hard. I can't do that. Welcome to podcasting. You need to start a podcast. And maybe I will. I've been thinking about doing one from the trailer park. That's a great idea. Do you know, I was looking at my history... And I'm like, oh, we've always been in trailer. Like one side of my family was in covered wagons and then the other <laughs> side was in train cars. Um, but we've always been in some kind of like. Nadav really mobile. likes that joke. He just came back from he Israel, so he's all jokes. jewed up. I love he's, it. he's super <laughs> juice, Jew powered up. Oh, I love this company. Adam and Eve. Come on. Who doesn't want to have better sex? Admit it. When you've got kids and family life, it's not. It's not easy to get started, but that's why I love Adam and Eve. Go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item, but that's not all. When you get one item, they will also send three bonus sexy items and six free movies. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy and is a priority. So what that means is when you get a box full of Adam and Eve stuff, the neighbors aren't going to know. Your housekeeper's not going to know. It's totally anonymous. It doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. All will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. 50% off, one item, 10 free gifts to boot. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything else you desire. Just enter offer code WMMA at checkout and you'll get 50% off almost any item plus 10 free gifts three bonus items, six free movies, and free shipping. Just use offer code WMMA. That's WMMA, WMMA at adamandeve.com. This is an exclusive offer specific to Where My Mom's At listeners. So be sure to use code WMMA to get not just the discount and the free goodies, but also the 100% free shipping. Code WMMA. Little Spoon, it's your one-stop shop for a healthy, easy meal time and snack time for your baby, toddler, and big kid delivered right to your door. Little Spoon makes healthy meal time easy at every stage, saving hours in your week and all at a reasonable price. And it's a super flexible company so you can pause, modify, cancel, or skip your shipments at any time. Most of the baby and kid foods at the grocery store are heavily processed and often on the shelf longer than your little one has been in this world, which is super gross because I remember buying baby snacks and thinking I would never put this even um, in my mouth, not alone my babies. Not cool and not the quality of nutrition our kids deserve. Little Spoon makes everything fresh and uses absolutely nothing artificial. It's just like homemade, all delivered to your door and ready in seconds. Pop your meals in the fridge or freezer and use them when you're ready. 100% organic cold pressed baby food for every eating stage. It has toddler plus kid foods um, and they taste absolutely delicious. And it's so nice to have them on hand in the house. Um, smoothies have made snack, snack time so much easier. Each flavor is inspired by a classic treat. So your kids become obsessed with the flavors and it's so good. I like the strawberry banana one and it's great because you're tricking your kids. They think they're getting a sweet treat, but it's healthy. So the best part is the price is right. With kids meals under $5 and baby food and smoothie snacks under $3, it makes trying Little Spoon easy. Start the new year fresh with Little Spoon. Get 50% off your first order with the code WMMA at checkout. Again, the code is WMMA at checkout to get 50% off your first Little Spoon order. But we're always like transient in some way. Yeah. My family too, my mom and dad, um, my sister was born in a trailer. A trailer. I mean, she wasn't born in the trailer. They went to the fucking hospital. We're not that trashy, but um, that burned down. And then I lived in a trailer a bunch of times during my life. And then my mom, when she had her sitcom, she had a trailer for like 10 years that we would just go 
sitting her. It you was mean her on her lot. Like, yeah, on her lot. It was like yeah. her dressing room trailer. She wouldn't go in the building and have <laughs> a proper dressing room like every star. They didn't have enough room. Oh. It was like one of the old. It was a. Um, I remember that a lot. Studio City and Studio City one, mm-hmm. and there just wasn't enough room on the. Um, excuse You me. don't have to go away from the mic. The audience loves when you go right what in. What if it just like wafts back in my face from this weird speaker <laughs> thing, though? I remember um, going to watch your mom tape on Fridays. Yeah. Her show. On Friday. Yeah. And I was, my favorite part was the craft service table. Oh, that was. So and I was like, dude, they just give you food? Yeah. Like, candy and i was so stoked and it like was the best part of the whole thing yeah the magic of show business and i remember being really bummed out that the stairs in the living room led to nowhere yeah that was depressing yeah yeah <laughs> i wouldn't i've never walked up the stairs because i didn't want to see that it went yeah. nowhere like it it was weird yeah i hate that and that i think it's one of the greatest sets i swear your family I, we were saying before we started recording it's like i feel like i'm um, Owen Wilson in the Tenenbaums where I just wanted to be a Petland. <laughs> I would just come over and be like, can I please be in your family? Because I love you guys You were. So you fit in perfectly. Much. And you didn't Ugh. freak out when we got in the huge screaming matches. You would just sit no. there and be like, <laughs> <laughs> no, fuck yeah. you, I'm dad. not eating your fucking mahi-mahi, yeah. dad. Yeah, it was cool. It was very, very cool. You're fucking mahi <laughs> Do you remember mahi. that fight? Yeah, I do. One time Christina came over and we were going to go to the mall and I was all excited because we love to go to the mall because we hated the mall and we love to go hate everybody at the mall. So <laughs> like we Daria. would be in all of our, <laughs> yeah, totally like Daria. We'd be in all our, our uh, golf gear and go over yeah. there and be like tunas because we called all the trendy girls tunas because they like swam in schools. Yeah. And I, we were all rare, rare and go. I had all my white pancake makeup yeah. on. And uh, my parents just kept putting me on all these diets and crash diets and stuff. And I was on this one where some woman cooked our food off site and like brought it once a week. And <laughs> it was awful. It was God awful food. But there was like this dry hunk of mahi mahi. And, I remember that. Yeah. You hated and it. They were, and my dad's like, you have to eat this before you go to the mall. And, and it was so that I wouldn't go to fucking Mrs. Yeah, Fields. Get a corn dog or something. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm going to do anyway. I yeah. can eat fish and a corn dog and a fucking cookie. I can do it. I promise. Yeah. Um, and <laughs> so I didn't want to eat the fish. And like I had a meltdown over it because I must I can be stubborn at times. Yeah. But it was horrible, too. Like I took a little bite and it was like just sponge like dry pussy. Yeah. yeah, it was flavor. Well, I don't know that I've ever eaten one of those, <laughs> but it was disgusting. Yeah, it was gross. And um, it was not like the bluegill. No, no. But um. Uh, I didn't eat it and yeah. they didn't let me go to the mall because it was like tough love back then. That I remember. if you didn't eat your mahi mahi, you didn't get to go to the mall. Yep. So, they were trying to, they were pretending to discipline. They were using discipline. Yeah, they were, yeah. yeah. And they were trying to make up for like 20 years yeah. of letting me draw yeah. on the walls and shit. But um, yeah, I didn't get to go. And that was like one of the worst yeah. memories I had. And it wasn't too much longer after that that I disappeared. <laughs> right. Uh, disappeared which time? Like Sorry. got sent away. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it mental institution like, stuff. Yeah, because I think that was like around 13. Man. I know. You guys, she has a book about this in case you don't, if you want to read more about it, um, this will be funny someday, right? This will be, be funny, funny later. later. I called it This Will Be Funny Someday so many fucking times that I yeah. think it's This Will Be Funny Later. I'm waiting for them to pull it up so I can oh. make sure. <laughs> the, like the Just title. kidding. It's This Will Be Funny Later. Uh, so Jenny came to my house this weekend and we went fishing and uh, she gutted a fish on my porch. And I was Three. like, you fucking. Oh, look at that great picture of you, Jen. Yeah, thanks. You look beautiful. Yeah, thank you. I cried for about oh two gosh. hours before I took that. Yeah. I remember that day very well. Why did you cry before? Oh, uh, and never mind. That was personal yeah. drama. Okay. We no, I'm, all my life is personal drama. The whole book's about personal drama. Yeah. It, is, it was a hard day. But you learned how to gut fish um, in your survival camp when they sent you to, right? Like yeah, I mean, Idaho that was one of the places. And afterwards, I've always been kind of attracted to that sort of survivalist I living. I love that. I'm into it now, now that I'm a now Texan. That you caught your first fish. Yeah, I caught my first fish with her. And I was like, <gasps> fuck you, nature. I feel like I kicked she, nature's She went ass. nuts. Yeah. She was like squishing the blood out of it, wiping yeah. it on her face and stuff. Yeah. She didn't really do that. 
I own this tribe. She pulled it out of the. She got this little. You got the biggest one though. You Thank got you. a. You got a um, large mouth luck. bass, and it was a little. She got yeah. yeah. And uh, everybody else was getting bluegill, but she yeah. got the bass. She got the biggest one Thank out of the lot. And I have this picture of her in this like white moo moo. <laughs> her very chic, cute swimwear. And uh, with this Paw Patrol rod, because yeah. we we just had Paw Patrol rods from all yeah. of our kids. I had one in my car, and you had yeah. like two. And uh, and looks great. She's reeling it in. I have the picture. It's exciting. I sent a video. It to you. First time That's I fished. Cute. I mean, I'm I'm it's such not a like a regular mom. mom. Cool, cool mom. <laughs> yeah, Concrete jungle. Cool. My whole life, I never fucking did anything yeah. like that. And I yeah, I, I I really enjoy it. I'm starting it, and now Ellis. We fish every day after school. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. He was so He's cute. Her kid was so cute. And I, I was like, you have to fish. be careful with the bluegill because they have like spiky yep. fins. And I'm like, you got to put your hand on the top and you kind of pull it down. He like grabbed it out of my hand, did it the right way and was like, just he it's picked stuff up psycho. so fast. Yeah, but he was then he wanted to keep them to show Tom. Yeah. So that's why yeah. I was like, uh oh, his plane got delayed. But then I remembered they were all. Yeah, and then we threw him on the lawn. Yeah, with the vultures. They were dead. <laughs> OK. So uh, let's do some follow-ups. I love these. Uh, I uh, I wanted to f- inquire about an adult nanny for me because I take care of everybody else in the house. And I thought, could I hire someone to just like pet my head as I fall asleep at yeah. night and to bring me tea? And um, like, who's taking care of me? Nobody. Well, us older moms, like my mom had uh, her last kid when she was 42. She hired a nanny for him. And that nanny, now my brother is 25. She's still with us and she is my mother's nanny that's what we call her she's oh so, mommy's nanny. so she's older now and like she's older she's in her um 50s and uh, <laughs> she's been with old. our family well I'm 10 she's years older her. oh right so so she like runs was. errands for her does she but i want someone cooking errands that's what i head want head petting that's any what of the I things want. that my mom wants and she's just a like we just all love her so much that's that what i like, want yeah i want a mom yeah maybe that's what i want <laughs> but but I want an ideal mom, the mom that I want her to be, not the shitty mom yeah. that you're giving. Well, if you're paying somebody, they have to be the mom you want them to be. You just invented something. I fucking just did. Okay, well, I want to be your first customer. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Someone wrote in about this. Uh, it says, I'm a direct support professional, so I work with adults with developmental and intellectual disabilities. Just I mean, like that's me. subjective. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, and Christina could easily be my next. Good. Okay. I'm 27 and I just graduated to my uh, bachelor's. Eh. Yeah, too young. But yep. the last six years of my life is filled with caring for others who freelance, fart, and belch for a living. Okay. I'm also a lesbian and skinny. Okay. So I both don't give a fuck about your husband what and your maybe inspire like? Peloton. I, yeah. So she's just saying she'll she'll uh, volunteer. This chick Haley. But oh. I don't want a 27 year old mom. I you want. Don't. An, I want. You an, don't want to volunteer either because it's like you get what you pay for. I want an abuelita. I want like yeah. A you Mexican. need somebody older. You need somebody who does not want to put up with your shit, but loves you. Yeah, and yeah. Who throws the chanclas at me when I misbehave? And <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> do we have any follow up voicemails about my adult nanny? We do. Oh, let's hear it. Hi, mommy. I'm calling from Canada. Um, you said something on the podcast today that describes my life pretty much exactly. Technically, I'm a personal assistant, but basically my job is more of, yes, an adult nanny. Mm -hmm. I take care of two grown adults and their teenage son, and I do pretty much all the mom stuff, the cooking, the cleaning, the grocery shopping, uh, chores around the house. So if Mm. you decide you need an adult nanny, I'm a very experienced one, and I would love to move to Austin and she to hang out with y'all. All this day. is like a real, yeah. This um, is a real. Think about uh, it. it's, uh, she's it's pitching really me. Great this is a resume. This is psychotic. I thought this was. She's I like, I'm was from a resume. Yeah, I'm from Canada, so it's gonna be hard as shit <laughs> for you to hire me. I'd have to get her an H one B. She might be a volunteer too, though. Did we did we listen volunteer. all the way through? No, I don't no. want to know. That's. I was on a, a nanny a... website for kids one time, and the only hit I got was an adult but he wanted me to change his diaper. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I guy, mean, maybe that's a route you can... <laughs> I read this story. This man claimed to be special needs um, just so that he could hire a nurse to change his diaper because oh. that was his fetish. And he yeah. was like, I'm special needs. So this guy was outright about it. It was the best interview I've ever done because he was just like, okay, so here's the deal. 
after he asked me how much I could lift. But after that, he, <laughs> he went ahead and just was like, I, I'm into adult baby diaper life. This was back in the day before I had my first son. And I was like, um. He asked you how much you could lift while yeah. to help him dispose of bodies. He wanted me to put him up on a table and change his <gasps> diaper. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, when I signed up for the nanny website, sir, I uh, was thinking more along the lines of a child. But I thought about it for like, I was like, well, let me get your number. I'll call you back. If you thought about it. You're like, I'm so I was on broke. unemployment. Yeah, I was, <laughs> I was unemployed at the time. There was a time when Tommy and I were so poor, like in 08, where I was like, should I like do feet pics or like feet modeling yeah i've got good feet you do have good feet and then i wouldn't have to show my face yeah and he's like we thought about it for five seconds he's like no you're probably doing it for free on accident on wiki feet (laughs) or you want i'm on there i'm like oh you're on there too let's look up our wiki feet profiles last time it's not even my feet but the thing is my whole life i've hated my feet i've hated them like you have great feet no, I have horrible feet. I'm what? okay admitting it. Yeah, I have horrible feet. I had to have surgery on like I have bad, bad genetic. Oh, oh my God. There's my feet. My pregnant feet. I, uh, that's your fucked up ankle. I broke my ankle feet. Yeah, but that's, uh, is that on wiki feet? That's fucking rude. Like, that's rude. <laughs> and oh. I needed, I was in desperate need of a pedicure. I'm, I am mortified. Oh my God, there's like an episode of a pot, red band. Well, it's like we caught you. We got your foot in the bottom. It's like very. <laughs> oh, that's from the mom song, a video I did with Crayshawn. I saw that. Yeah. This is amazing. Um, I this love is so that detailed now. Nobody's mentioning you're on the toilet, but they are talking about your feet. That's what feet people do. They overlook the fact that you are naked on a toilet. <laughs> oh, <gasps> oh, oh just... that's a peekaboo shot. That's a little peekaboo. <laughs> Men are so sick. They are. That's what they had to put the fucking tablecloths on tables because men wanted to fuck the legs of the tables back in the Victorian ages. You know that? Oh, is that right? That's why everything was covered is because the table legs made men too horny. And so they had to cover them. <laughs> God bless them. Yeah. Bless their hearts. Just bless, bless our, your heart. It's not the table's fault. You want to fuck it. That's just how I feel. About. Do you want to see your wiki feet page? Uh, I mean, if you're into it. Yeah, let's see. I'm curious. I wonder if there's a wiki pit. Is there a wiki pits? <laughs> <laughs> no, you should start an OnlyFans. I was going to do. It's funny because I told my husband, I want to be a cam girl, but I want yeah. to mommy. Pe- I just want to be like, that's not she, that's not the girl for you. Like, I just wanted to be everybody's mom oh. On, a, oh. on a cam girl. There's <laughs> hey, that's my foot. <laughs> Duct tape on the other one. No, what? that's a shoe. Oh, I, I don't spend much on shoes. <laughs> those I almost nice. wear those, those look pretty. That's a nice picture. <laughs> uh, that was before I got my tattoo machine and tattooed the shit out of my foot. Oh yeah, I noticed that you did your own tattoo. I did my own feet? foot. That is not me. That's, that's my friend Kelly, who is quite beautiful and has lovely feet. And I wish that's what my body looked like. That is awesome. <laughs> that's how I paint my toes. I just go wherever. Me too. And then you scratch it off that later. In the shower. Yeah. 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 Or if you're sweating at night with too many blankets, you wake up and your toes look fucking amazing. That's my secret. Yeah. I just take. I, I and shower. Those are the kind but... of shoes I wear ninety percent of the time. <laughs> Oh, that's See? a good one. That's a really nice. That's very flattering. Yours what are all flattering. What am I doing? I'm yours, laying on the side of the road. Yours are like model, likely. model feet shots. Mine are like peekaboo. We see you. Yeah, you yours psycho. are all perverted. Mine are like, all right, have at it, boys. And you're like, oh, my oops, my toe's showing. <laughs> you think I'm doing it to be coy? I'm like, God, I hope this makes wiki I think wiki you feet. will now. I don't think you were, but I think now you'll be like oh my sticking gosh. a foot so out this is right, the table here. This is literally the day before I gave birth to my first son. Look how fat that potato is. That woman's oh, so yeah? she's so bummed to be working on my foot. No, I've seen I've seen some shit. That's nothing. Look she's not her. even working on that part. She's like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Look at that baked potato, dude. It was so swollen. I know. That's what happens. It's awful. Especially because with that kid, I gained 80 pounds. So that's when I was alternating between in and out and Carl's Jr. every oh, other day. Yeah, like the sodium. And my my doctor was like, you're going to get diabetes. You need to stop <laughs> So I started swimming and yeah. Did that help? Yeah. Did you lose yeah. weight while you were pregnant? I lose weight no. when I'm pregnant and gain it when I'm nursing, my which cousin, is the opposite my of cousin everybody. No, I'm not, I'm like that, the, the opposite. I gain it's a Everybody else bunch. is like that. I get super fucking fat and then it takes like three years really for me to lose all of it. Yeah, I just, gra- I gradually. That's good. You're not obsessive about it because when people are like, oh, it's been six weeks and <laughs> look at me now, I'm like, you stupid bitch. I mean, I got bummed, not a lie. Like after the second one, I was like, because I was more cognizant of gaining weight on the yeah. second one. 
I was like, oh, this feels terrible. I hate being this. But then yeah. I would just dress up nicely. That's when I started dressing yeah. nicer. So I'm like, if I'm going to be a belt, a, get a good belt, anything, put like, it up high. This is uh, for first time moms, if you're, or whatever, moms, when you have your newborn, I recommend because you're just going to be in pajamas for three months. Like buy nice get jammies. cute pajamas, yeah, and then you can wear them out to podcasts. Like <laughs> your schmata, that's your house schmata. Oh, this is my outdoor schmata. This is my outdoor yeah. one. I don't know what's happening there. Yeah, so um, you just you look nice when you're around the house. I'm yeah. gonna throw up, and that's what you I should do. buy things that are pajamas and clothes. Oh yeah, yeah. Target. Target. All of my clothes are pajamas, mm -hmm. and vice versa. Mm -hmm. Marona used to be a really good line for that at Target, but I don't yeah, know they had no that uh, I can't remember the name now, but they have like all that shit that looks like you're on uh, in the prairie. Oh, I don't like that oh, fucking that shit. shit. You like prairie shit? I love prairie shit. I love to look like I'm just married to seven women and one man. <laughs> I love it. I can't help it. <laughs> the, the polyamorous look. I love it. <laughs> I love the look like I'm going to catch a fish on your boat dock and cook it in your kitchen when I come over. <laughs> I'm Polly. There you are. Yeah, that's what all my friends call me. They either call me uh, MacGyver or... Yeah, you're definitely yeah, MacGyver or, vibes. Or uh, what's her face? Little House on the Prairie lady. Laura Ingalls. Gosh, it's and so I had good. this guy one time I was dating this guy and uh, he goes, I bet your room looks like Laura Ashley. Yeah. And it pissed me off so bad because it did. I had all like <laughs> of my everything in my room was like Laura Ashley. I, wow. We have separate aesthetics. Wait, wasn't there yeah. some wasn't there like a cunt character on Little House? That bitch, the blonde yeah. bitch with the tendrils, like the yeah. rich girl. Was her yeah. Name? But if you watch like way later, they're friends. Oh, OK. They become friends. Wasn't there a blind girl, too? I'm, it's Aww. the prairie. I'm sure there was all kinds of fucked up do shit you, on that show. I do don't you, remember. Do you realize like out on the prairie, like you get an ear infection, bro. Like that's Dead. it. You're deaf. Yeah. You're done. If you survive. Like, uh, scarlet fever. Like people get scarlet fever all the time now because it's basically just strep with a chest rash and nobody knows that. Oh, wow. Like that's what scarlet fever was. And that's what Helen Keller had. And like, you know, it was what made her blind and deaf? decimate you. Yeah. She was three, I think, when she oh. went blind and deaf. So she oh. had some she had some experience with being sighted and hearing and then all of a sudden ha did not have that. And then had some behavioral issues after that because of, I think that was yeah. more why it was the change. Dude, all because they didn't have like penicillin yet. Yeah. That's wild. I know. Do you watch that Outlander show? You probably don't because it's very Laura Ashley. Oh, I want to kill myself when I can't watch <laughs> shows where people are too dirty or like nature fucks them too hard. Like there's yeah. no like I have a hard time watching those med medieval shows that I love about royalty. Yeah. Like the tutors or whatever. When yeah. kids get fevers, I'm like, I can't. Yeah. I fucking can't, yeah. dude. Game I of Thrones. It. Kid falls out the windows. I, nah. I didn't watch. Any of that. Nah. Pollyanna. Remember she fell out the tree. Remember that one? I tried. That I one started fucked to me watch up it. so bad. Did you try to watch it as an adult? Recently, to try. I was like, "Oh, let's watch this with Ellis." <laughs> <He's, laughs> meanwhile, he's terrified of trees. Well, no. can I tell you my theory about Pollyanna and why that that movie's so messed up? It's, so Pollyanna becomes crippled, and she still has a great attitude. That's the the, yeah. the meaning. But, oh yeah, that's right. Right. But yeah. my problem is with Pollyanna is that remember she visits that old mean lady. Yeah. And she tries to change the old mean lady with her kindness. Yeah. And she's like, and she keeps coming back for the old lady's approval. We approval love that codependency Appro shit. Yeah. That, and yeah. I was like, no, 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 sweetie. Poly the lesson should be Pollyanna goes, I love myself so much. Fuck you, old lady. Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm going to go find joy. That's the 2022 version. And when she does this, it's just... Hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you remade it now, that's what would happen. But I think codependency wasn't really acknowledged as a mental illness back in the day. Of no. And it was her just trying to change everyone around her yeah. to conform to well, what she wanted. Well, that's her Pollyanna fucking attitude. I, th I feel like that's a kind of a slur anyway to say that a somebody slur? has that yeah. Pollyanna attitude is like, that's yeah. what it means. It's like you're just like, please love me. Like, so that all like everything's good I swear right right it's good it's all fucking good that's me my first 28 years on earth that's why you hate it so bad yeah. I, I know when I hear myself <laughs> being like that I'm like oh god Jenny just fucking admit it all sucks it's okay <laughs> that's actually very freeing like to just be like and I have a friend who's very much like that positive person and oh. when you see it from the outside you're like oh oh that's mental illness <laughs> 
That's not, it's anxiety. That's not I a have, positive attitude. No, that's mental yeah. illness. You're right. I have people. I know people like that. Everything's fine. I'm in control of it. And you're like, yeah. no, you're so anxious. Yeah, you're so anxious yeah. that you're gonna positive affirmation yourself out of your anxiety, which can work for a minute. Yeah, but it's not a long term. No, it doesn't work long term. I think everybody, especially when you have kids, your your life is just suffering. Like especially those early, yeah. the early zero to four. It's like f- every second, yeah. Yo, yeah. So you're just like, okay, well, how am I going to make the best of this and like yeah. not drown in it? And then and then it goes like you know, honestly, for me, once they hit four, whew, well, that's because you don't have to see them all day because they go to preschool or school, yeah. yeah, or just the the evening of the temperaments too, like the, yeah. the emotions kind of. Uh, I don't think that ever happened to any of my kids. Really? No, they just it's just there. Yeah, they're like, um, but the tantrums. I'm saying, like the constant. Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Even as teenagers. Wow. I don't want to scare you, Great. but it comes back uh, and it's worse because there are hormones involved oh, yeah. and there's sex involved. There's other people involved. There's uh, police involved. There's <laughs> driving involved. There's illegal Holy. substances. There's your own medicine cabinet there. You know, the, it's I, I hope and pray that your children just remain even keeled and four years old forever. Cause I hope so. No. Well, no, they were not. I mean, I mean, but I mean like, for instance, um, I'm going to, uh, Julian, what would you like to eat? I want a hot dog. Okay. Let me put that in the microwave. No, I want to do it. Ah! <laughs> like that kind of shit. And you're like, okay, let's go do it. Find the stool. You find the stool. Okay. Mm. Well, I want to push the button. Yeah, what another hot dog? And then he throws it like that kind of it's psychotic. Really? I'm sorry. Fuck I'm trying mom. the hardest I can right now to give you hope. But also oh, we just die. said Pollyanna thinking is bullshit. It gets worse. It yeah. gets a lot worse. And it's and it's huge things that like the things they come to me now with are so fucking existential that it oh. sends me into a spiral into like just is is there a God? Oh, wow. Like, they it ask gets you fun. that stuff? Oh, uh, I ask myself that stuff after oh, they talk oh, to oh. me. Yeah. Well, no. I, um, and yes, they do. I don't. <sighs> it's scary. I love you. I'm sorry. I'll be here. I hate it. As long as no one vomits on me. I <laughs> know uh, they puke, the, uh, but it smells like alcohol sometimes. Cool. And sometimes there's like mushrooms in it and shit. As long as we don't want to lay on you and puke. That's what Julian did to me last week. Okay, let's do some yeah, follow. We got to get through these. That. That was horrible. I'm sorry. I love you. <laughs> Three years old. He pukes on me. He puked on me all night. I was like. And I have a, you know, my phobia. So I didn't I know that. Like, you hate vomit? I, I just would not assume that you would hate vomit. Why is vomit the thing? I don't even know you. I feel like uh, maybe I didn't talk about it. No, when I, was I think it's you're so phobic that you can't even say the say yeah. the words out loud. No, I'm very phobic of it. Do you puke when other people puke around you? No, I hold it in. I don't. Okay, but you feel like ever. you're going to. Uh huh. And I hold it in. So somebody else vomiting equals you eating your own vomit, basically, and that's yeah. probably part of it. Okay. Okay. I get cool. It. Thank you. Anyway, okay, let's go on. I don't want to talk about it. Everybody wants that perfect lawn. I know I do. My kids have destroyed mine with their little uh, jumping bounce houses. Uh, but this year, I used Sunday to repair my lawn. Sunday is made with ingredients that you can actually pronounce like seaweed, iron, molasses. And the best part is it really, really works. My lawn is looking better than ever and I did it myself. It's super, super easy. Your yard is your personal oasis and it deserves the best. Sunday helps you grow a beautiful lawn, control pests and fight weeds without the toxic stuff. Sunday's custom lawn care is effective and super easy. So here's what you do. You go to sunday.com, Put in your address and their lawn analysis tool does the rest. They use soil and climate data to create a personal nutrient plan delivered to your door when you need it. Sunday's lawn care products are made with your family in mind. That's why they use ingredients um, that you can feel good about and it really works. And Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $129 and you can get 20% off when you visit GetSunday.com slash WMMA at checkout. That's 20% off your custom plan at GetSunday.com slash WMMA. Getting in my daily workout routine is a must, but up until recently, if I had a few drinks the day before, it wouldn't happen. Now, though, I drink a Z biotics before any alcohol, and I know tomorrow I'm going to be able to stick to my routine. That's right. Z biotics 
is a pre-alcohol probiotic. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. Uh, it was invented by a PhD scientist to tackle rough mornings after drinking. How amazing is that? So here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it most. Just remember, it's so easy. So all you have to do, drink Zbiotics before you're drinking your alcohol, drink responsibly, and just get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. It's so wild. The first time I tried this, I was like, no way, this is a joke, but it's so effective. You feel completely fine the next day and you feel like living, which is very important. Give Zbiotics a try for yourself. Go to zbiotics.com slash WMMA to get 15% off your first order when you use WMMA at checkout. Zbiotics is backed with 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. July 4th is just around the corner, so order a pack of Zbiotics for you and your friends today to make sure you get it in time. Remember to head to zbiotics.com slash WMMA and use the code WMMA at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode. Next voicemail. Thank you. Hi, Christina and Booth Boys. I'm Kat. I'm here in Austin, Texas, watching episode 141. And I just saw the part about you guys talking about women fishing for compliments by asking, do I look fat in this? Um, I'm guilty of this once in a while. And my fucking genius husband has the hands down best response anytime someone, anytime I ask him or I just need that boost. Anytime I say something to the effect of, does this make me look fat? He looks me up and down and says, eh, I'd still fuck you. So yeah, next time, next time you get that question, just just let her know that she's still fuckable. She might be a fat shit, but you still fuck her anyway. You know you would. Love yeah. you, mommy. That's a Mom good one. jeans was the shit. Thanks, bro. That's cool. That's good. I like that. That's good. Yeah. So I I read this thing in a, a book about when when someone asks you your age and then you go, how old do you think I am? Yeah. It's your way of fishing for a compliment. It's like it's like a way of being. What if you like, look like shit and you just want to put the other person on the spot? I don't know, but I just tell people outright. Yeah, I, like, I've never lied about my age. I, I mean, know. since I've been twenty-one, I've never lied. About, <laughs> since then, I haven't lied about. Yeah, my age. me too. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna be forty-six in a couple weeks. Yeah, I know. have no idea what day it was, so I struggled with that. But like this month, yeah, I'm gonna be forty-six. And then I turned forty-six right after you, June eighteenth. It's crazy, dude. Can that you believe this? That we're going to be 50? That scares the shit out of me. Being uh, I don't 50. know. I know a lot of 50 year olds and they are doing better than me. And yeah. So, yeah. A lot of, I think like the, a lot of women I know are like, oh, when you hit 50, it's like a magic number. Like all the bullshit falls away. And I'm like, oh, bullshit falling away. <laughs> yeah. And I could do with some bullshit falling away. I can see that. I think. I think there's something about like in your 20s when you're young, it's all about the physical body, yeah. right? You're fucking, you're, you're yeah. about your looks, your body. Yeah. And then your 30s, 40s. Same thing. And no, then... <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. You, you, you have children. Usually you, the, the physical self starts to wane and then you become a little more spiritual. And then there's the giving back time. Like you've, you've earned enough. You've done enough in your life where you feel like I'm going to help out other people. And like, for me, that's what I see. Fifties, the fifties will be yeah. more about giving back, as opposed to like me, 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 my building my empire. You know, like yeah. how can I be of service to? I other think I've done people? everything backwards listening to you talk. <laughs> but yeah, I think that that is the more. I think that is like there. There are things that happen like during certain phases of your life that everybody can kind of relate to. I think, and that is like in your forties, you start going, okay, you do, you still care about all that stuff, but you know that it's it's got a time limit on it it's yeah. not gonna last forever and then you go oh well what really is important to me and and then you start looking at that kind of stuff but um yeah i think that that's how it's supposed to be because i know some 50 year olds are still trying to be fuckable and they are they're it's great but i just like anything taking up that much of my bandwidth i'm like not good yeah well i, I think there's a shave my armpits like no you certainly don't and i think like those things it's like 
it shouldn't be the 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 but i think what's more attractive and um which is why i've been looking to french women for i've talked about this forever and aging because i think the yeah. american way is like try to stay young yeah. forever and that's not good i, don't, I think like, if you look at madonna's tiktok i don't know if you're on there <laughs> i saw it on yours and i'm not on there and i was like who is this troll making fun of madonna <laughs> i really thought it was i thought it was somebody like doing a mean uh, 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 a mean thing uh, with like i thought they had makeup on to be mean oh i thought you were talking about me being the troll reposting oh, no. you <laughs> no, no no i know who that troll is i was talking about no like i thought somebody She's was like pretending you're a piece to of shit i know you're a piece of shit no i love you I know I love you too. But 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 then you look at someone like Madonna and you go like, oh, that's not that's not how I would like to age where I'm I'm acting 20 in my 60s. I think yeah. that's not attractive. Um, so there's got to be a more balanced approach of like just embracing where you're at, yeah. do the best version of where you're at and uh, go graceful into that. Good what, I have my 80 year old or she's almost 90. Actually, my bubby, my yes, mom, I love bubby. she's a sex pod. She's always got some guy she's got wrapped around her finger. I love that. She's such a hoe. She I called that. me from the front of some guy's car and I'm like, hey, turn your phone. Who is that? Who's that man? Keep your filthy paws off my bubby. I love it. But yeah, it's it's uh, and she doesn't do any of that kind of stuff. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know. The face is a little off. I don't know what she's is it. In I think it's but, you know, I, I got my ears pierced and then all of a sudden I had 40 holes in my ears. So I get it. I guess that's kind of what happens. I don't know. I haven't had any work done yet. So I think she's on drugs. I think I think she's on pills. Yeah. Well, that's why you get plastic surgery is because they give you pills afterwards. Oh, <laughs> that's the thing. I, yeah. A lot of people are like that. You're like, oh, you really didn't need your eyes done. And I know somebody that can get you that shit without the 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 pain, without Jeez. the actual surgery. You can just get drugs. Yeah, that, that looks good. This whole NFT with oh, things coming out of her snatch. It's so funny. Oh, I didn't see that before. Mm, she made NFTs of like her giving birth to what? like robot arms and stuff. That makes I mean, my vagina hurt. I have to say, I, I think that's really interesting. And I think she's going to sell a, it's going to go crazy. Yeah. I think it's fucking it's genius as yes. usual. She does a lot of genius shit, man. She's the G.O.D. You want like, her to move out of the way so you can see what's coming out of her vagina. Yeah, I want to like, see Okay, puss. I get your face, but move it. What's coming out your pussy? What's coming out your pussy, <laughs> bitch? All right, let's do another voicemail. <laughs> What's coming out your pussy? <laughs> hey, mommy. So, segment. so my name is Sabrina. I'm a stepmom of two girls, six and ten, and I'm uh, listening to 140 episode 142, and you're talking about how little girls dress like pretty much little sluts. Mm. Well, my stepdaughter's mom loves to dress them up in sh the shortest shorts and the <laughs> shortest shirts that they that she could find and send them over. And she knows this pisses me off. So what I do oh is I switch out their shorts for um, higher um, like pants, like high waisted pants or high waisted shorts that are longer um, on the bottom, too. And that way they can still wear their shirt. Um, they don't feel like I'm just taking away their, their clothes oh and she won't feel a type of way. So maybe mom fail, maybe mom hack. I don't know, but that's what I do because I definitely don't like the way they dress little girls nowadays. It's horrendous. And so, yeah, touch my camera to the front. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> Bye. So that, that came cause I was in, um, I was in Chicago in a mall and I was in the clothing section and it was like glitter cut off shorts yeah. where like little girls cooches could hang out. Yeah. And I was like, that is wild. Yeah. I bet it's tough as a stepmom. The step parents got the roughest gig because, you you know, there's that tug yeah, of that's war. True. That is true. So fuck. But like tug of war was something that's not the kids too. Like I've, it sounds like that's they're both kind of. Yeah, that, that'd be hard. I'm not in that position, so whatever. But And I don't have daughters, so Thankful, I don't have to worry yeah. about that. My kids just pick up whatever was on the floor and put it on. Yeah, that's good. That's a good thing about little boys. Um, but you know what I was thinking is, um, is like fashion follows what's popular in the zeitgeist. Yeah, totally. So you and I grew up with like Little House on the Prairie, yeah. Strawberry Sugar. Like they just need to re-air Little House, like bring it back on oh, Netflix. Yeah. And then little girls will start dressing like uh what are they pioneers yeah the pi well target had that whole line of clothes and everybody was getting pissed off because there's like a target challenge on tiktok i'm surprised oh, you don't know. but it's like oh. people wearing those um because they say it looks like uh what was the thing with the hood the handmaid's tail they said oh. like they're trying to dress women like the handmaid's tail and i'm like yeah please like i would like that 
XL, please. But um, yeah, that there is like something about that too, with the uh, like trying to be modest, uh, which is oh. the next thing. Like, you know, you have all your tattoos, and your kids are like, "I hate tattoos," and then you're wearing your coochie jeans from wherever you saw those. It's so funny. I think I'm inherently handmade tail. Like, I think I've always dressed modestly. Yeah, yeah you always have. Yeah, I'm kind of like I think I'm always just like I don't. You don't need to see. I, I'm embarrassed. I don't. Is it because you're know. embarrassed or is it just I don't you feel don't think comfortable about- with like my boobs hanging like stuff. You have to have fake uh, prosthetic boobs hanging out. To I have don't your know. Boob. You do. I I've don't... seen your. Uh... Oh, right. oh yeah. Tina. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tina. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I don't dress that modestly. Because you but... have the boobs to just do Tina. <gasps> That's as why. Tina. Oh no. But you put a fucking I was like, are oh, those her tits? Those look good. But then I was like, oh no, those are fake. No, those are prosthetic. Those took hours to make. So I had to go but to those took 40 years to make and they're just as good. Like <laughs> yeah. just put those out. <laughs> I know. I think because um so you know what it is? I know why I'm modest. It's because I got these early. Yeah. I mean, I had big titties from the time I was like in eighth grade. Yeah, that'll and so do it. To get that much attention. Yeah. early when you're not ready you're just like dude yeah enough. we used to walk down the street when we were like 14 and people would stop christina or like yell yeah. at you or whatever and i was like me and it was never me <laughs> i remember being like 15 and like an old man yeah. coming up to me all the time that happened to you yeah and being like you're very beautiful and I'm yeah like, okay so yeah. i think the male attention I I was like, I don't like this. I'm going to shut this fucking down. Because yeah. dudes are shameless when you're... Well, we lived in L- L.A. too. And then we were also like on Melrose as 14-year-olds yeah. smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And, yeah. That's true. That attracts bad things yeah. too. Usually when you're wearing <laughs> army boots in an alley at night smoking cigarettes outside the new art, people tend to be a little bit shadier with you. Or with you a little you more. believe? I think about... I mean... Yo, we ran the streets at 13. Yeah. Which is out of memory. No cell phone. Nothing, bro. Oh, yeah, nothing. Not even we a pager. We couldn't have a cell phone because they would attract us and we wouldn't have been able to, to go to memory. Um, do you remember? I, this was you, right? We were on a cab and we snuck out to the new art. And yeah. the fucking cab driver, do you remember he had the glove? I vaguely We had this glove. cab driver. He was scary. We were just like, either we're going to disappear, die, or we're just going to make friends with this it guy. It was the night like, of your mom's wedding. It was the to night Tom. of my mom's wedding to Tom. Yes, it was. Yeah. Are you doing that to me? And that's why we snuck out because we figured like, oh, everybody's distracted. She was out and we were, I was sleeping over at your house that night because the wedding was at your house. Oh, that's right. And we were like, okay, let's go sneak out. We'll go to the New York. We'll go to Rocky Horror because it was Saturday night. Okay. And we got into the cab and we were like, do you take credit card? And he got so mad at us because back then they didn't have those swipeys. The that's right. The homeboy had to like... Do that thing. And he's like, no, you need to have cash. You can't have no credit card. And I was like, bro, well, you're not going to get paid. Like you fought with the guy. I did. Oh, my God. <gasps> and then he showed me his leather glove with like four metal spikes coming down. Yeah. I'm like, you drive with that? Your fucking steering wheel looks amazing. But then it. we got caught the next day because the tabloids took pictures the of us. took pictures. And then, yeah. And then your mom yelled, yeah, Christina! And I was like, oh, fuck. And they yelled at us. And I was like, oh, my God, dude. So scary. Okay. I was getting two stories mixed up then because I also ran away on her second wedding to Tom Arnold, but I took a limo. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not with Yeah. Me. They had the limos there for all her drunk party goers. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'll take one of those. And I went and did something stupid, too. And I got caught because the paparazzi did follow us there, too. But mm-hmm. I couldn't figure out why I was in a cab. But we, me and you took a cab. And he just kept the whole time... He was showing us a glove because he was like, you better, you better pay me. You better have my money. Like, this yeah. is what I do when people don't have money. And I'm like, yeah. even the 13 year old girl. 13. Can you and imagine? And then, yeah. And then I think I did yell at him. Oh my God. What a mm-hmm. stupid You were a idiot. real a, a sassy broad. Still are. Sassy. But you taught me how to be sassy. You I know? was sassy. You, I um, deserved to get locked up for five years. You were definitely one of the instrumental people in building my personality. There's like, I have a handful of You're people. You're welcome, everybody. Yeah, seriously. Yes. You are my awakening, your your whole family. Like, I was like, whoa, yeah, they I were. think I'm fucking weird like these dudes. <laughs> I don't think I'm meant to be like a regular. Yeah, you weren't your dad and mother's child. Yeah. Uh-uh. I was like, this family's fucked and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> crazy all right one more uh voice email female 
Hey, Mommy. Hey, I was just listening to episode 144, and you were talking about disgusting restaurant uh, tactics or uh, disgusting restaurant things. Yeah. Well, my mom actually no longer <laughs> has lemons or limes in any of her beverages yep. after seeing when I worked in a restaurant cut fruit mm-hmm. with my bare hands yes. on the back table yes. on a shitty chopped up cutting board uh, because it is so disgusting. Lemons and limes are the most disgusting things at restaurants. Doesn't mean I still don't get them in my drink because, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm resilient like that. But, um, yeah, if you're looking to not uh, get uh, E. coli or some crazy disease, probably uh, skip the lemons and limes uh, next time. Always. Thanks, Mommy. Keep them high and tight. Never so heard that. I worked in a bar. Um, in my twenties, the Formosa Cafe. Shout out! Oh, it was wow. hip. It was very cool. I went there with that guy that said I looked like Laura Ingalls. Oh, maybe you were in the back. I was probably working there. <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah. So, for, just so you know, every time you order a garnish and a cocktail, why though? Like what? I'll tell you. Why. So she's right. So first of all, the bartender comes in. They cut up the garnishes. Are usually like like cherries and things yeah. are kept in a filthy bin under the thing like a jar yeah. right so then the bartender will put his hands in there and mm-hmm. fill these containers and then the filthy waitress me <laughs> will be like oh um that they ordered lime and i've been touching everybody's yeah. money everybody's plates every like hepatitis all over these paws and then i'm like <laughs> here's your lime and i reach okay. and me and every other staff member has put their hands in the garnish bin oh, yeah. to put that there it is okay. fucking gross guys never eat garnishes from like yeah okay. shoot, they're right it's it's gnarly dude. yeah i probably never will now either thanks you don't you got it <laughs> You got yes. <laughs> What's the worst job you've ever had? Oh me? I haven't had very many jobs because I, mom. I'm just kidding. Working for your mom? Uh, no, I meant being a mom. Oh oh, uh, oh no, actually, yeah. I um, I was a personal assistant a few times. Yeah, I don't know. That's I think tough. every job. Oh, my favorite That's job though gig. was working at the Psychic Eye Bookshop in the Valley, where I worked there. It was my favorite job, but it was also the worst one because um, I want to say there was no nepotism involved, but I know they hired me because they recognized my name when I turned yeah. in my so, and they knew who my mom was and everything. But um, I I love that job because I would love working at the oh Psychic. God, it was amazing. I got to take home whatever books I wanted, and I grew up. My mom had her like a bookstore like a feminist bookstore so she would always bring books home so that was like a comfort <laughs> she thing a fem- where she worked in one in denver it oh. was like a, um there was like a it was a regular bookstore and then the basement and they had their feminist that's meetings a, there that's a portlandia sketch you know that it was a hundred percent that it was a hundred percent that it totally was that i remember it very vividly and oh. like the brick walls going down to the basement and like the little table down there and, and the hairy women broads, that were down there angry hairy. yeah but the 70s kind because yeah. even regular ladies back then that weren't like super angry i love 70s were hairy i'm down with those they were they were serious and all i wanted to do i had like a little doll i would take with me there because i just wanted to play dolls all the time and uh i would carry the doll around and they would all be like you know you can do whatever you want with your life like just constantly (laughs) reminded and i was like okay i want to have five fucking kids and they were like no 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 we mean like you could drive a truck you could like the things we want you to do yeah and i was like okay no thank you for telling me i could do whatever i want i want to be a submissive housewife thank you (laughs) minus the submissive part though (laughs) <laughs> I, I miss that part. oh i miss the psychic guy that's when you that go in best it smells like incense there's all these it's these stores with like tarot yeah. cards and rocks with this they had rock. little rooms and they had readers in each yep. room so there was like three or four we went together yeah and she fucking nailed it she yep. nailed it everything yep. she said to christina and then true. and everything she said to me too unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> Yours was a much better reading. <laughs> I had one time I was getting a massage at Burke Williams, which is like a fancy spa, right? I've had gift certificates too yes. that I never used. Fucking amazing. I yeah. love it. And um, this woman, she's like, I'm going to do Reiki on you. And I was like, all right, cool. I don't know if you've ever had Reiki done to you. Yeah. It's the most infuriating fucking thing in the world because <laughs> she don't, they don't touch you. She just she hovers her fucking dumb hand over you. She feels my energy and I was like, bitch, just rub. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, not when you're going to get a massage. Oh, no. And then she starts telling me, but this is the crazy thing. She goes, oh, 
I see her mother. I go, yeah, that bitch is dead. She goes, yeah, she's dead. And I was like, okay. <laughs> she goes, and I see a blonde hair, blue eyed baby. And I go, no, I already had my son. He's brown eyes. But guess what? Yeah. The second baby yeah. was that. And I was like, whoa. Yeah. That, so she knew. Yeah, she knew. She but I didn't ask your... for it. I was at Burke Williams. I was like, please don't talk yeah, to me. Yeah, that's weird. No, Reiki is something you seek out. And so is being pummeled by like a big Swedish broad. Like yeah. th- those are things that like are specific to where you go. But she beside me, she's like, can I tell you I had some visions about you? And I was like, all right, crazy bitch. Like, let's hear it. But she was right. Yeah. But I did not ask. I mm-hmm. love that you pretend to think all that shit's crazy because you actually secretly it's, don't crazy but i do like it look at your eyes all lighten up (laughs) you're full of shit you're full of shit can i tell you though i know a witch when i see i'll be honest i nobody's gonna burn you at the stake this time can i tell you though i lost a lot of that witchiness and spirituality once i had children i think something i you know what it is i think i saw the brutality of nature and like the real world where i was like oh this is not real life is like keeping this kid alive right now like it's it's fucking brutal like nature splits your body apart to let you'll that find god out. again when they are a teenager <laughs> <laughs> i don't know maybe i'm, I'm godless maybe I'm that's kidding. what it is no if anybody who finds god is godless that's like yeah I think i'm spiritualist i'm not i just i'm like whatever i don't know yeah mm-hmm. having kids will like shock you into this realm faster than any other yeah. thing yeah for sure I mean, my my daily life is wiping asses, wiping noses, getting puked on, and you know, as yours You're is. You're fucking Mother Teresa, though. She that <laughs> that's how she turned spiritual. She was like, "I'm gonna go wipe some asses." Is that how she, she didn't, did? Yeah, she didn't have kids, and she so wasn't she was hot. Just like, Let's look at Mother Teresa. Yeah, that's why. I think it's because she yeah, she definitely wasn't she just hot. like let herself go. Yeah, let's look at a young <laughs> Mother Teresa because she definitely wasn't hot when she was old. Let's see if she was. Smoke I don't show. know. I think she's kind of hot. Oh, she's kind of cute. No, nah. oh, she's cute. No, no, there, there, there. there before she hot. put that thing, the schmutz on her head, she if looked cute. They would have started Botox right then. <laughs> she would have been just smoking. I love her. <laughs> it says no. That is. I not love that a she picture. told the church to fuck off, and we're like, oh, this is what you do. You you just sit here and take people's money, and then she went and like wiped a bunch of leper ass. Oh, and she never she's got cool. it. She never got leprosy. No, because God protected her. That's kind of cool. Oh, there's it's Prince true. Charles with her. If you wipe people's ass on the side of the street, God protects He's like, you. I hear that you hang with <laughs> lepers. Are they disgusting? Do she's they laughing smell? at him. Look at your stupid fucking lay, you loser. I she, know. She's secretly. Where was she from, Teresa? It was not, she was in Nepal or something, wasn't Aww. she? Or is that where she was? Nepalese. Oh, where is Googling. Mother Teresa? This from. could take from her. Oh, North, North Macedonia. Macedonia. Interesting. Skopje. Skopje. I don't even know where Macedonia is. Oh, this is my realm. Okay, so she's Eastern Blocky. Skopje hmm. is the capital of Lerzer in Macedonia. Countries, Calico. Okay, whatever. It looks like it's around where my tribe is from. Interesting. Well, maybe maybe you found your true calling. You think I should? Oh, she's Albanian. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hungarians don't like the Albanians. That's for sure. Really? No, they're so racist. The Hungarians don't let gypsies in they don't let albanians in that's they don't so let weird everywhere i go in. i'm always shocked that there's like one group of people that's not letting the other group of people oh, yeah. everywhere it's like that it's, in hawaii was the i mean it was funny in hawaii because everybody's gonna yeah but the hawaiians don't like the howlies well hawaiians like hawaii yeah yes well of course what, i mean you got your own thing you got your own, uh, you know, language and dancing and the food. Well, and then these fucking guys come along and they're like, but there's a church on dogs. every corner, too. And everybody's very much going to these westernized churches. And you're like, OK, mm. well, can yeah, it, that's how it's you get a weird. Um, yeah, it is because the uh, Captain Cook and all they went over there and like and then like Queen Emma is a very interesting read. If you want to read about the Hawaiian people, like what happened with Queen Emma. The I heard waiter, about this yeah. because I have a Hawaiian friend and she nice. told me the lore a bit about yeah. this revered queen. Yeah. I forget, what did she do? She stayed up well, all night. Well, there was Lilio Kalani too. So there's mm-hmm. like, but Emma was the one that I like because she was a bitch. And and Captain Cook like kept trying to like make her uh, right. American and she would show up with right. no shoes to school. And he had like this whole journal and all these files on her. And it just kind of reminded me a little bit of... I love it. Yeah. I mean, look, I I think it's hard to integrate different c- 
cultures, customs, blah, blah. Like, you have a group of people that do things one way, and you're just like, wait a minute, but that's not how we do it. We do shit this way. And the familiar is so much easier. Yeah. (laughs) You know, you don't want, I don't want to eat whatever you guys eat. I want to eat what I eat. I want to do it the way I do it. Just because, like, you know, it's well, yeah, it's nostalgia and comfort, and like yeah. if you get that sense of belonging too that I think you get too attached to, and in, in some ways, and yeah, definitely. That's why I like reincarnation because whoever Uh-oh. you hate, I hope you turn into in your next life. Wow, she just said that. <laughs> Dang, I think that I that's what I think is how it works. So, hate away. It's gonna be even wonder. funnier if you build a system that but, destroys you next time. Here's the thing: like now that I've been living in the south. And I am, you know, Los Angeles all the way. I grew up. I don't know. Liberal bubble. Yeah. And now I'm like, all right, I get it. Like you guys keep shit. It's a, it's a nothing. They don't want to change stuff down here. You're like, all right, I get it. You yeah. Know, you want stuff to be the same. Okay. So let them have their own fucking thing. You know what yeah. I mean? I don't care. You guys the don't want to have abortion? Trying to change, it, this is the advertising shit, too. I think most yeah. people don't even really believe 90% of their beliefs. It's just like a reactionary, like, don't tell me what to believe. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I don't like being told. And I respect yeah. that about Texans is they're just like, keep the government out of my backyard. Fuck you. Like, yeah, I, but I keep I them out of my it. vagina, too. Like, it, there's that's, like, it, but that's the Jesus stuff. So they're they're Look, well, you choose Jesus, your poison. Is it's not supposed to be part of the government either. No, I know, but it's it's what do you, what's your poison? The woke or Jesus? Yeah. God damn it! I got to choose between the woke I'm or not, Jesus. No. You're not going to choose. Where are you going to live? Trailer park. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Are there any woke in the trailer park? I don't. Talk, the thing is, it's so funny because everybody's like real close to each other. Yeah. And, and you don't talk to anybody there. Isn't you don't talk to anybody. Funny? Everybody has like the unspoken agreement of like, don't look other people in the eyes that live in a trailer park as well. You know, what's so funny is that's what rich people do. Um, but the yeah, first time do. I ever went to a Four Seasons, Tommy and I saved up our Amex points and we went to Lanai. Yeah, Lanai. Yeah. And I remember I was so stoked to be there that everybody that walked by, I was like, what's up? <laughs> We're at the Four Seasons, right? Am I right? And nobody would make eye contact. Yeah. Everybody's like, fuck you. We're on vacation. And I was they like, they could tell hey, you are nouveau rich. Or, yeah. 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 And I was like, Tommy, rich people are mean as shit. They yeah. don't want to say hi to anybody. No, they don't. I, it's I think, so weird. Yeah, yeah it, it's weird, but then also it makes sense that like, the, I'm sure either rich people probably have a story to tell that they don't want anybody to know, as well as people who live in trailer parks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's kind of either or. Like you end up on the extremist end of things be- yeah. for a reason, and maybe you just don't want to talk about it. Yeah, that's true. I, I feel w- the same way. If somebody... What? Try to talk to me there. I'd be like, I'd be like, don't listen. There's a reason I'm in this trailer park. Well, there, your sewer pipe comes out of your trailer. Like people are looking at your sewer pipe. It just feels weird to talk to them too. It's like I see your shit shoot coming out your trailer. I don't want to talk to you too at too the same intimate. time. It's yeah. too intimate. It well, is. what a great documentary. I think you should chronicle your life there. I would love to chronicle my life, but also have nobody watch it. That's ever, true. Because That's that would be part. traumatic for me and my children. I yeah. know. Oh, yeah, that part, too. Yeah, your kids. I know. The stuff. consent thing is big with me, with the kids. And, like, I ask them, oh, can I put this picture up and all that kind of... And not all the time, but, like, a lot of the time. And I just feel like they should be allowed their own space outside of whatever public thing I do. Obviously, I'm like that because of my situation, but... Yes, I agree. It's, it's, I run, it's so crazy because... Um, I think until, and it, like, I remember you telling me stories. You're like, I'm a, I was on a plane and I heard two people behind me talking about my mom, yeah. like two strangers. And you're like, that is so weird. And then now it happens to me. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't like, that weird? You're talking about Tom Segura. And I'm like, yeah. motherfucker, that's my husband, bitch. Like, yeah. I, and you're like, this is so surreal that strangers yeah. are talking about someone they think they know, but not really. Yeah. Who has a whole life. And it's usually some bullshit, too. And you yeah. want to correct them, but you're like, I don't want to be that person. Like, that turns around in your airplane seat. <laughs> like, and uh, but you do realize what a small world it is at some point. Like, that was the big kind of takeaway for me. It was like, oh, this is a really small yeah. world. We're all very closely connected. Connected, and I guess I should focus on that. Yeah. Yeah. It it's is very true. A weird ass fucking world. And Americans love their celebrities. Uh, the, the British have their royals and we have celebrity. But yeah. our thing is like we build them up to tear them down. And we, yeah. we like to build it's them fun. up. And now we're loving Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. Because yeah. it's like, oh, these hot rich people are fighting and fucking like everybody else. Yeah. This is great. I mean, yeah. everyone's a drunk and behind clothes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. 
What, what did you think? Like money absolves you of being a, a broken person? Yeah. Like, you know, you're just rich. And now you've got yeah. mental problems. Now you can afford your mental problems. That's all. <laughs> yeah. You can buy the fucking alcohol. You don't have to suck a stranger's dick in the parking lot anymore <laughs> to get it. It's just easier to be a piece of shit, actually. Yeah, it, it makes it a lot easier. And also the people <laughs> around you, they're like, how do I get what they get? Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say yes to everything that they asked me for. And nobody tells you no either, because you can see like in some of the testimony, I'm like, oh, I recognize that one <laughs> when somebody's like, oh, and then nobody did anything. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. of course, nobody did anything. They're fucking benefiting Terrible. From the whole, yeah. Well, look at what happened with Will Smith and Chris Rock. Will Smith gets up, sla- hits Chris, assaults yeah. a man who weighs about as much as me. Chris yeah. is a little dude. Yeah. Nobody fucking goes, hey, should we throw that guy out? Yeah. They give him an award. Yeah. And oh, good job. What? Yeah. Like, are you, cr- if that happened in fucking the funny bone in Toledo, that guy would be out. The audience would have beat his ass. Yo, yeah. that guy would be in handcuffs on the street. I don't give a fuck who you are, but yeah. Hollywood is so afraid. Yeah. We can't piss off the guy that plays make believe for a living. Again, money, though. Crazy. It's all fucking money, just like the advertising shit and everything. The yeah, reason you can't do that is because they're all sponsored by something and someone and. And that just takes away the the free will of the situation or whatever. But it's it so really true. is. If you hate capitalism, not other people. Everybody just remember that you don't <laughs> hate other people. You hate capitalism or you hate how they. Yeah, I remember, too, like working on staffs uh, and show business, like working on shows. And you're just like, what is fucking happening? Like, yeah, it's the upside down. Yeah. Culturally, you're like, no yeah. one's going to. OK, no. No one's going to crack And then that you or... don't want to say anything either because you're like, well, if I say something, then everybody... You're going to rock the boat. Yeah, you're going to rock the boat or, every, or or you're just in shock. Like a lot of it's like I watched a lot of shit happen that I was like just in shock or, you know, from the way that I handle shit, just like sitting there going... <laughs> <laughs> like like even when the what? slap happened, I was like... Eh. I Nobody. saw some tweet that said, like, if you do anything other than laugh at the fact that you saw Will Smith get up and slap <laughs> Chris Rock, then I don't understand you. And I was like, yeah, I didn't have a hot take. I was just like, eh. oh, that sucks. Ugh. But no security? No, no one's No gonna... nothing. No, no nothing. I mean, I don't know if it's been said, but Hollywood sometimes likes to protect. They protect the perpetrator oh. because a lot of times perpetrators make them more money because yeah, they are sociopaths and sociopaths don't have the, you know, the. Yes. Yeah. So they can make more money. Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. The but less you Ch- care. But yeah. the good news is Chappelle took that fucker down. I mean, oh, I didn't get no, to look into Bring up it. the photograph of the dipshit that, that I tried- saw somebody went up there. You told me that it was the same night I was in L.A. This fucking idiot. I mean, you're going to try to stab Dave Chappelle. Did he pull the knife out? Yeah, he had a knife and then a fake. Oh. Look, at, look at this. Oh, bull. shit. Yo, you got fucking fucked up, son. You try to run on stage with rappers on like he fucking idiot. Why did he say what his problem was? This guy, he's mentally ill. He made a song about Dave Chappelle in 2020. Oh, so he's, like he's a, a failed comedian. And I don't know. Is there is there any reason to justify stabbing a performer? No. Mm. what what could no, you I'm possibly do Chappelle? no there's no the- reason for that but i just wonder what his motivation like what he was thinking or mental like illness. if he's a stalker or- mental illness yeah anyway good put that shit up frame it put it on the internet this is what you get for messing with comedians you sick fucks. so somebody else jumped up there too right other people helped. oh so Chappelle usually has a bunch of dudes on stage with him at the same time like okay. talib quali and like big fucking dudes like bodyguards yeah. So this dipshit runs up and there's like a fucking crew of dudes that just swoop on okay. him and beat the crap out of him. It's like, yeah, okay. I don't know. It makes me so upset. Like, what? It, comedians? Really? Okay. Well, and uh, just nobody helping, too. That's, like, that part is like, I've been in situations where I've been like, is anybody going to help me? And people are just like, Ugh. I'm putting my shoes back on like Mr. Oh, Rogers. This is what ready. Mr. Rogers did at the beginning. And then, <laughs> that's right. And now it's the end of the show and I put my shoes back on. There you go. It's a beautiful day in there the you neighborhood. Go. That motherfucker talks you need so your own slow. Remember Mr. Rogers? Yeah, but I loved it. It I was liked. like the ASMR of our <laughs> young lives. I loved it. And you could just hear the spit crackling in his mouth. It was so fucking soothing. I get it. And then he had like just weird puppets that like people uh-huh. could ugly, have made ugly in puppet. Their, yeah. Google Mr. Rogers puppets. So ugly. Yeah. What was that lady's know. name with the fucking I know. chin? And sh- they all look like alcoholic puppets. Yeah. yeah that uh, one. This is terrifying. Yeah. yeah. 
This was she looks like Phyllis Diller, but alcoholic Phyllis Diller. Oh yeah, with leprosy. She needs some Mother Teresa love in that one. Yeah, Lady Elaine Fairchild. I mean, so that's like anybody could make. It. Like you could just make those. It looks like shit. Home. They couldn't have given this guy a better look at that castle. Puppet. Like that's just like somebody just put some cardboard up. But, but I mean, I fucking respect that respect. because he's still he was just full of so much something that even that shitty set and horrible puppets couldn't ruin him. That's right. Chutzpah. Yeah. Chutzpah. Look at him. He's so Look cute. I know he's dead. Was he gay? I don't know or care. I'd still fuck him. You think he was butt fucking dudes? I don't know, but I kind of want to watch off. if he was like. And he's like, no, God. he's just so cute. That little smile. Oh, Fred Rogers held his bisexual okay, icon. I see that. I always like bisexual guys. <laughs> yes. I get it. <laughs> Nailed it. See that shit? I was like, this guy doesn't have a dick. I can smell it when they it's don't Sex fuck. with him is all in the head. It's all in your head. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That bring it all back together. Thank you. And now the show's over. On that note, thank you so much, Jenny Pellin. I love you. Thank I love you. you. For Buy me her book. Here. This will be funny later. Or don't. They already paid me. I don't give a shit. She doesn't give a shit. Come see me do stand up live, Christina P. Online.com for tickets. Check out my special mom jeans. We love you. Until next time, stay cool, moms. Okay, bye. Hi, mommy. Thank you for watching that episode. Did you like what you see? I hope you did. So, why don't you subscribe? Just click the subscribe button and, you know, hit the notification bell so you can get notified. And also, why don't you watch another video? What? Watch one of these. You know what I'm saying? Like right here, down there, whatever. There's so much stuff, bro. I make these all the time for you to watch. That's why I'm here. I love you.